Hello everyone, welcome to another bite size video. So in this short video, I'm just going to take a quick look at how we can add point cloud data to our inventor models. So without further ado, let's jump into the software and we'll take a look. So here is my inventor model. I'm currently using the factory design tools. So I've brought a, some building information in from AutoCAD and I've been doing a layout in there of an existing factory. And in order to do that, I, I can use uh, point clouds, a scan of that factory that um, has been done. And I already have some point cloud that I'm going to use, and it's going to be this old line. So at, at the moment, moment we, we see it's just attached, attached to the mouse cursor. cursor. So, so I'm, I'm just, just going to click into space, and we can see we now get some options for inserting our point cloud. Now, I know I've already set this up, that this shares the same origin as the building data. So I should just be able to insert it at origin and it snaps into the right place. Um, you can see you can change the density of the point cloud as well. So we don't import as many points to keep the file size down. You can change the maximum allowed points. So you can see at the moment we're at 4.5 million. I may want to drop less down to maybe two or three million. You can see, as just like we did with the uh, the density, it will take some of the points away. And then we can rotate as well around each axis. And we just click OK. Just wait for that to import. OK. okay. So, so there, there we go, go. The, the, the point, point cloud has imported. imported. And we can now start laying out to the existing machinery or at least mark out the area that we want to use for new machinery. The other thing we, I just want to point out with this point cloud is we have real view scans and we can actually view the real view indicators or we can turn them off. So let's turn all the indicators off. So that just tidies up the scan as well, a bit less information to be displayed. And there we go. So there we go. Uh, that one was short and sweet. And that's how we can add point cloud data into our models to use as a reference. My name's Chris Smith, applications engineer with the team here at CADLINE. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.